In today's video, I'm gonna discuss how you could change your swing path and angle of attack with zero technical thoughts. Make sure you check out this video. Welcome back to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today in the studio. And today's video, as I mentioned there in the intro, is all gonna be about changing your swing path and your angle of attack. And this is gonna be with zero technical thoughts, just focusing on the tilts in your neck. It makes a massive difference. You won't believe how much change you can make just by thinking about something so, so simple. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. At least two instructional videos a week. Uh, the info for me is just coming along the bottom of the screen right here. If you hit the, the bell icon, it just notifies you every time a new video goes live. At least two instructional videos a week. But right now, we're going to jump into it. So the purpose of this video is going to be about how we can tilt our head to change our swing path and our angle of attack and how that's going to differ with different clubs. And it sounds technical and it's really not. So this is going to be zero technical thoughts, zero swing changes, just how the tilt of our head is going to affect, as I said, our path and our angle of attack. So I'm hitting a driver here. What do I really want with a driver? For your average golfer, we want a positive angle of attack. We want to be striking upwards on the golf ball because we know we can gain some yardage from there. Whereas with our irons, and I'm going to demonstrate actually into something a bit short, like a wedge, we'd like a little bit more of a downward angle of attack. So tilting our head differently could start to affect that for us automatically. So let's jump, start with the driver as I've got that in my hand, and let's just peg one up. That little shot I just hit there, definitely got the angle of attack up, definitely got the swing path in to out to the right of the target to hit that draw shape. Just left the face a little bit open, but I was 3.3 degrees on the way up and 1.2 in to out. Okay, so I created an in to out draw path. Uh, I created an upward angle of attack. I just left the face a little bit open, hence it staying at right to target rather than drawing back. So a slight push. What I was trying to feel was in setup, once I was ready to go, I was just trying to tilt my head, almost so my right ear is a little bit lower. Uh, left ear, lead ear, closest to the target, works a little bit up. Effectively tilting my head away from the target. What that's gonna help me do is actually set myself slightly behind the ball, help me create slightly more of a in to out, upward angle of attack, but it's also gonna help me create a bigger shoulder turn. And I'm going to explain that. So as, as I tilt my head away from the target, I'll be able to actually make a bigger wind up behind the golf ball. So a bigger coil up behind the ball. If I had my head more neutral, or let's go the other way and actually tilt our head more so our head's going towards the target, so our lead side is low, that's really going to help me stay more over the ball, but it's going to limit my shoulder turn. So that may be good when we're trying to take some distance off the shot and create a downward angle of attack, some more in pitching. With a drive, we want to hit up, we want to create power, we want to create um, an into out path, ideally to hit that draw shape. So tilting my head away from the target, increasing my shoulder turn, help me turn behind the golf ball and create all those things we really want with a driver. Now there is another thing we could do with our, our head. We could actually just try and feel like we get our trail ear, so our right ear for right-handed golfer slightly nearer our trail shoulder, so our right shoulder. That's gonna actually help point my shoulders and my body at a little bit more to the right of the target, again, helping me create that into out path. So let me hit one more drive. And I'm definitely tilting my head slightly away from the target, almost so my right eye is lower to the ground my, my left eye. And that's gonna help set me behind the ball and help me create a bigger coil, a bigger shoulder turn. So it feels like I can just turn at least to 90, beyond 90 and behind the golf ball with that. And if I'm trying to create more of a draw path, let's go for slightly more into out than 1.2. I'm just gonna feel like I pull my trail ear, my right ear backwards a little bit. So I'm actually creating a tilt this way and a slight turn of my eye line more to the right of the target as well. So set up, tilt, trail ear slightly back. So I feel like this is gonna help me hit up and more into out. 
So a higher draw flight, got that one a little bit too much, but bending more right to left. This is where I'd experiment on the driving range and see what's right for you, depending on the shot you want to hit. You know, if it's a dog leg left, that's a pretty good shot, a pretty good ball flight. And now I'm convinced, although that is further left than I want to see, I'm convinced that I've created there more of an upward angle of attack than three degrees and more into out than 1.2. So yeah, up by six and into out by 3.7. So I'd need to play around with the face angle and I need the face just a little bit more open. Uh, for some reason it wasn't picking up face, but I'd need the face just a couple of degrees, two, three degrees open to the target and that ball uh, would have been less of a, a hook, you know, more of a draw shape there, but created the big angle of attack up the big into out path that I was trying to do with my head tilt. So if I jumped into a wedge, and I've just got here a pitching wedge, and let's say I'm not hitting it full, I'm just hitting more of a controlled half wedge shot. I wouldn't want as much tilt here, I wouldn't want my trail shoulder sitting as low. I actually want to try and get the path a little bit more down, a little bit more left through the ball, so I'm gonna have my head, my tilt, more neutral so I could look forwards and then look straight down and you'll see there I am more level I haven't tilted my head as much away from the target so I am more neutral that's going to help me stay a little bit more over my lead sides so there's less shift away on the back swing less shift off the golf ball and it's going to limit my shoulder turn as well so if my head was more neutral or if I exaggerated and went the other way with my left eye low I'm really gonna feel like I stay over the ball and limit shoulder turn here. So I'm taking some distance off the flight. More neutral. Got a more downward angle of attack into the golf ball and felt like I would stay a little bit more over my lead side. I'm sure if I measured it, there is a shift of pressure towards my trail side, but there's less of a shift than there would be with a driver. So the big thing on this one is What's right for you depends on you, depends on what shot shape you're hitting, what shot shape you want to hit. But you could think about your neck tilts to start to affect your angle of attack. So upwards with a driver, ideally, downwards more with an iron. So head more neutral with an iron, more tilt away from the target with a driver when you wanna hit up. And you could start to affect your path by changing effectively your eye line, which is also affecting your shoulder line. So if I feel like my trail ear comes closer to my body, my head is tilted, my eye line is pointing more to the right, that's gonna help me create a more in to out path. And the opposite, if I wanted actually more of an out to in path, I could just try and feel like my head was tilted the other way, so my eye line was pointing a little bit more neutral or slightly more to the left. With a wedge, I've, I would recommend a pretty neutral neck tilt so we're not tilting as much away from the target to feel like we stay a little bit more onto our lead side create a little bit more of a downward angle of attack into the golf ball so more neutral with my head and down downward angle of attack into the golf ball let's hit one more drive and just show you that difference again So driver wants to be striking on the way up, that would be neutral. But what I'm gonna do is just tilt my head so my trail ear here is lower to the ground, my head is tilted away from the target. And if I wanted more of an into out path, I could just feel like my eye line points a little bit more to the right of the target. But the big thing here for angle of attack is the tilt away from the target affecting your neck tilts. So this is gonna help me create more of that upward angle of attack and also create a bigger shoulder turn. So obviously there's a lot more speed involved with a driver, but I feel like I can create a bigger coil up. Just give it a go, you know, get yourself in a mirror. I've got one here behind my camera, tilt away from the target, and I feel like I can create a bigger turn behind the golf ball, head more neutral, and it's gonna feel like it limits my shoulder turn and keeps my pressure a little bit more even. Definitely something to play around with on the driving range. I know it can change your angle of attack. I know it can change your path. If you're looking for more distance off the tee, try that tilt. It's definitely gonna help you create a bigger shoulder turn. Like anything, try it on the driving range of the practice area first before taking these things to the golf course. Have a little bit of fun experimenting around with it. If this video has helped, hit the thumbs up. 
share it with as many golfers as you can, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers, guys. We'll see you soon.